All right, so first part of the story down. Now, where are they going to go with the, the Enterprise? Where are they headed? I don't know what they were so afraid of. Those guys were like like jobber pushover generic enemies you could kill like three hits. Like what was the big deal? Nice water effects. The Naldia Narrow. The Einher Jar. Jill, what happened? Oh, she's still a captive. That's right. I forgot that she was captured. <clears throat> what do you want? That's quite a mess you've made. And wholly unnecessary. You are my offering to Muthos. I would not see you damaged. Oh, ooh. The free cities of Conver. The Enterprise. Now back to your stations. Every bell spent treading water puts another league between us and the Galleon. I don't suppose Mid has a spare engine. <laughs> Since you rose from the grave, my fortunes have plummeted. Are you absolutely certain of this quest of yours, Clive? The foes you face are as terrible as they are numerous. Aye, and they'd have us live and die on their terms, which should answer your question. <laughs> You have that same stubborn look as your father did when he set his mind to something. On the battlefield, I am but a single axe. A deadly one, mind, but a single one nonetheless. Yet what you require is a thousand, and I believe my old friend in Randala can provide them. Randala! Is he getting an army, is he saying? Take Putting care, together time. an army? I have many more <laughs> tales of your father's exploits to share. And I cannot very well do that if you're dead. Again. Good luck, Uncle. And may fair winds attend you. Don't worry, I'm sure he'll show up at the end of the game. As for you, Joshua, take care. I shall do my best, Uncle. Farewell, my nephews. When next you see me, it shall be with an army at So he is back. raising an army. Okay. <laughs> Savage Two Days says, I'm excited about Dark Pictures Anthology Season 2. Has they even announced it yet or talked about it? I've seen nothing about it. I mean, I like the Dark Pictures Anthology. I can't wait for more games in the series, but I'm not aware that there's any information about the next Hello. season. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Very necessary to see him Do roll away, up, let me boy. tell you. Well, we can't have him showing us up now, can we? We would never hear the end of it. <clears throat> oh, yeah? Grim Ripper says he just watched Twisted Metal Season 1 and he actually liked it. He found it kind of funny. The The trailer they showed during Summer Game Fest was absolutely abysmally bad. Doesn't mean that the whole show will be bad. It just means they showed a really bad part. So, <laughs> What's going on here? So he left and this is how he's walking. He's all fucked up. What's going on? He was recuperating at our at our base, and now he's here. 
instead. What the heck is going on? What have I done? Now he's trying to live with the regret that he destroyed his own town, right? His whole city's wrecked because of him. My lord. Okay, we gotta continue on. There's nowhere else to go right now, as you can see. Yep. All right, let's keep going. We're in the ocean. The Naldianero, the open sea. Let's keep going. <clears throat> At least we're in a story segment, thank goodness. I welcome story developments in the game. So this whole ship is made of ruins. That's why it looks so weird. They put ruins on the front of it. There's a lot of sea <laughs> between here and Walud. But any ship heading north has to round Zemeckis and put through the narrow. Maintain our current bearing north northeast, and we'll catch the Black Galleon What's up, Dr. before Oink? she vanishes again. No, the game has not gotten better. From circling around <laughs> it hasn't. South. With these winds in those waters, it's taken forever and a fortnight to reach Stone here. Mid knows what she's talking about, Clive. Better than any of us lot, anyway. I say we do as she tells. Uh oh. Sails on the horizon. She's ours. Look alive, boys! Pull ahead! And keep those furnaces fed! Aye, aye. Do you feel that, Jill? All hands! So they think they caught up to them. <clears throat> keep in mind, their their ship's running on a motor, right? So that's why it's so fast compared to all the other ships. Hello, uh, Daniel. How are you? Welcome to the stream. How's it going? Yeah, so they caught up to them because they have a motor, so they're like twice as fast as all the other ships. Hello, Tyler. What's going on? 672, what is Utopia? One Never dates, heard of that. So does the other follow. The bond of consciousness which joins them, condemning both to the same fate. Will we fight Odin out here? Every attempt to strike it from their hearts serves only to tighten its hold. He's got nice blue accents on his armor. But then, there is naught my blade cannot sever. Maybe we're gonna fight him out here. I wasn't expecting it. Uh, dodge. So basically, you can't go straight at this guy because at any point he can do a sword swipe that'll do a giant attack. You gotta be coming at angles. So that way he can't line it up. And he can fly. Delightful. Oh, an album by Travis Scott? Travis Scott still makes music? I thought he just made, uh, like, Happy Meals at McDonald's and, you know, continued to perform on stage while his, uh, fans were beating the shit out of each other in the audience. I'll find her. Sorry. <laughs> Had to make the joke. Songs about McDonald's now. Oh, good. But up, 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 I'm rapping it. <laughs> they gave me two packs of Szechuan sauce. I said the two packs of Szechuan sauce. <laughs> yes, 
Robust! Robust combat! This combat is absolutely nothing like Final Fantasy 15 in any way, shape, or form. Seriously. It's completely different. But I don't know, 
I'm not against it, just I don't think that really is too good for my audience. I don't think it's really for I did play, um, what was it, uh, Mist, uh, a few years ago. That one was fun, but I never played the first Mist. Uh, and so to actually play it, see what it was all about, it was actually quite, quite entertaining. Do something like that eventually. So, Romeo, I will see you tonight. Good. I'm hitting him while he's down and hitting everyone else who's sitting behind him. You're also fucking idiotic. <laughs> oh my god. I know, so engaging. I can read the chat while I'm doing the combat. There's nothing to it. Look, I don't even have to look at the game. I can look away from the game and do this combat. It's fucking stupid. Look at this. There we go. Right. The problem is, the, is it, the only reason the combat's this long is because there's tanky enemies. You have to tank out against them to lower their stagger for them to die. If the game didn't have these enemies, then every combat would be able to stun like five seconds. This isn't story mode, guys. I'm standing out with a band. Regular mode, it's not fucking story mode, you idiot. Other people try to blame the shortcomings of the game on me. I didn't make the fucking game, I didn't make it easy. Level up! How excited! She must be here somewhere. Bloody hides, how nice. Where am I going? This, oh, look at this. That. Just a cook who works for the enemy. Now you're a dead cook. No, I don't want to do that. There's a chest here. It could be important. The breath of earth, earth and fury. I stopped using the earth and abilities. Can I uh, hold on? Can I do some upgrades here? How many points do I have? Whoa! I have an insane amount of points. When did I get these? I don't even know when I got these. Upgrade? Let's upgrade this. What about uh, the Bahamut ultimate ability? Giga Flare. Yeah, let's get that. Fucking get that shit. Can't upgrade it? I'm like 40 points short. 40 points short of that. Alright, let's, uh, let's equip that. <clears throat> let's equip Giga Flare instead. Instead of... Uh, Flare Breath, we'll do Giga Flare. There you go. I almost have enough points to use it. What's this? These are all shit. Why do I want to equip those? Yeah, I don't want these for. Being stupid. Okay. We're almost to the point where we can, uh, we can upgrade Giga Flare a second time right away. So that's good. That's where I came from. Wait. No, this is where we're going, right? We're going over there. Kick down that ladder. Okay. Are you guys are silly just sitting there? You're sitting there taking a dump or something. Like, what are you doing? Do you not hear everyone on your, your ship dying above, above, above top? Oh my god. Just, yeah, but I'm just really good. Alright, cool. Look at this. You can't move at all. Do, do you think I know what's going on right now? Let's be honest. Do you think I have any idea what I'm doing? All I'm doing is mashing charge, magic, charge, magic, charge, magic. That's it. Oh, I don't want to do this. I wasted it. Oh, well. Oh, 
I think he was behind me. I couldn't hit him. Has a leak. There's a leak on the boat. Ah! You came. Get back. Uh. Clive, how did you? I'll explain later. Hands. <laughs> can you walk? Out of here, I can. Stand still! Phoenix... Are you not the dominant of fire? I see naught before me but a guttering flame. Oh, I'm very engaged in the game. I'm incredibly engaged. Good afternoon, Corey. Parted the waters like Moses. How nice. Can you go on? I think so. Hobo X says, isn't it ironic Square Enix keeps saying they need to modernize all their games for new audiences, which is why the combat is like this in the game, but the sales keep declining to compared to their old games. <clears throat> no, here's what it is, is the people who used to make the old games don't work for them anymore. They all went off to do other things. So all the people who actually made the games that were the most popular aren't making games anymore for them. So this is the shit that they pump out now. <laughs> is this our fight against him now? Savage Judy, I collected a ton of comics, mostly Marvel when I was growing up, mostly X-Men. Oh, I expect he will survive. This consciousness in which you coil your feeble souls is grown thick with desperation. And thus has my master turned to my blade. The world will Oof. soon be painted in black. And all that live shall gather in death's autumn wake. Not if we remove the cause of this misery. No, 
Not if we destroy the last of the Mother Crystals and restore balance. You have no evidence that destroying the rest of the Mother Crystals will do anything. <laughs> You've just been doing it. You truly think it's so simple? The blight is inevitable. Not even the Almighty might stop its endless march. Your efforts will avail us naught. Naught, that is. But suffering. Exeter, thank you for reopening your membership for 14 months. Yes, thanks for the amazing streams. You're welcome. Accept your place with the Lord. Keep it. As long as there's a chance, there's a choice. Never led astray by your blind resolve. Can we fight him now? Now, it is time you learn the inevitability of your divine fate. However much it may hurt. Okay. Get as far away as you can. Clive, no. Trust me, Jill. That down. I don't know. Maybe it's a trap. It's not supposed to. It's going to take to fucking turn off, right? See? It seems like bullshit. There's no way to stop it. Stop it. And thus is the light of hope severed.
Yep, that was totally intentional. You saw how big his fucking bar was to get that down? There was you no way you were doing that. So soon. Never. Life. <laughs> A fake scripted fight. No way to win. Do you not see? Your iron will weighs you down, dragging you ever further from your purpose. And what is my purpose? Mythos. Mythos. What are the dominance? <laughs> the breath of the Creator still warm on our lips. We carry his light that we might guide the masses in his name. We are but mighty acts of God. We are more than that. You would be nothing without what he has granted you. The power we wield is his, and yet every time we draw upon it, it wears away at our very being. It breaks us, it unmakes us, that its immaculate aspect might reveal itself. The icon. It is too much for even his chosen few. Apart from you, Mythos. You wield the might of many, yet your body does not answer for its avarice. What are you saying? What I am saying is that we dominance are a means to an end. We were created for you. That you might drink deep of our strength and thereby fulfill there you your divine purpose. That's why Ultima was talking about it him like that. To feed. As you would know, could you only look beyond the walls of your prison of self-regard. Hmm. As long as you choose to ignore this, you shall never penetrate my defenses. Still, you may take solace in the fact that you are not alone in your plight. The chains of volition shackle all of mankind, but there is yet cause to rejoice. For the Lord in his mercy has taken pity on his flawed creations and shall see them restored to their proper forms. And what exactly would that be? Why loyal servants to God? No. Manners, Lord Rossfield. They are men, like you and me. Albeit ones uh, unburdened by the wills that drive our kind to madness. They are pure. They are divine. You mean to turn everyone Akashic? Not turn, Mythos. Turn back. For too long has mankind been led astray by their clamorous wills. It is time they return to a world of quiet equality, where they might once more know salvation. Salvation? And abandon everything we hold dear? We don't need your... Salvation. We'll save ourselves, and we'll do it on our own terms. Not yours, and not your gods. With every defiant expression of your will, the tighter the chains of consciousness become. But perhaps that fact may be put to use. I think they're misusing the the raw the term. Clive. I actually feel like the term that they're looking for in this game is self-awareness, not consciousness. Consciousness is very different from self-awareness. To be unconscious means you're not um aware of your surroundings. You're not even able to control your own faculties, while self-awareness means that you have the ability to make decisions for yourself because you're aware of your own existence as an independent creature like for example there's plenty of, of living creatures on earth that aren't self-aware 
and therefore they don't really understand why they do what they do. They just do it on instinct. And I think that's what he's trying to say here is he wants to, they want to turn everyone on the earth to be a slave, a, a, a non self aware slave that just obeys Ultima, right? They want to turn it into a the Akashic means you're basically going to be overcome with this, this blue magic shit and you turn into like a zombie. You just do what you're told. You don't have any self awareness or thought for yourself. That's very different from consciousness. So they're using the wrong terminology in the entire plot here, basically. They don't even understand the meaning behind the words that they're using in the plot, which is kind of interesting. JD did a super chat. It says, Friday night with DSP, Gin, and Weed Bliss. So I guess you'll be smoking and, and token and drinking and and uh, vibing when I play Blanca tonight on the late stream, eh, JD? All right, well, hey, to each their own. Hope, it, hope to see you tonight. Sounds good. Okay. Unless you mean today. Maybe it's tonight for you now. Today this is still daytime for me. It's only 2 p.m. 2.30 p.m. So, Okay, here we go. The faster it binds you to the remaining dominance, the stronger your hunger will become. Until it leads you back to the only answer there ever was. Mayhap not by the path my master intended. But back all the same. Ash is not far. I could freeze a path. You're in no fit state. Probably not, but I can try. <laughs> Technically, can he fly? Right? Why not use your power, stupid? <laughs> Don't look back! Clive bested. You're giving me rewards for being bested. That's interesting. It's kind of like a participation trophy, right? <laughs> the will of light, residual light aether, increase impulse will damage by 10%. They give me a participation trophy. How nice. The Shadow Coast. I hope the others are safe. The Enterprise was clear of the gap when we fell. They made it, Jill. And they will have seen the ice where it led. Oh. Wait till dawn. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, no comment. <clears throat> no comment. Oh, no comment. I'm not going to say anything. Time nope. Me. nope, I'm going to resist. I'm not going to say anything. Him. I refuse. Refuse to comment. And maybe there really is nothing else for it but to give yourself to his master. Only you won't do that. Clive, I know, would never do that. So you believe? But do you really know me? If what Barnum have said was true, then... I'm more monster than man. And each time I summon the flames from within... I burn away the things... That make me so he loses more of his self-awareness and self-control when he becomes the creature. Do you, though? Think of what you've used that power for. Of all the people you've saved. It doesn't matter how or by whom it was granted. Only well, I know there's no reason for them to be naked, but, you know, writing. The, the, the game director is a great writer, right? obviously. For good... The story for the ages. I've also used it to kill. What if that's my purpose? What if it's all I'm good for? What are we fighting for? You're still that same boy I grew up with. Always so low. Because you 
failed to realize the one thing that needed saving most of all. You, Clive. You. You never once took the time to save yourself. Myself. What a stupid scene. <laughs> There's literally no reason for them to be nude on this beach. There's none at all. They could easily have dried their clothes with them on their bodies. You fight to survive. And you survive so that you oh may protect God. those you love. It's what you do. It's what you've always done. And I know you're Zephyr not says it's not like that. They, they drive faster when they're off. So yeah, because they're in a big rush, as you can see. They're in a huge rush to get off this beach that they're stranded on, right? Right. Mm hmm. Red Bandit, thank you for the super chat. He says, off work all early, ready for a good streaming weekend. Thank you, Red Bandit. Jill. Are you sure? Are you sure, Jill? If, if this is what you want, then... Jill, holy shit, I'm looking down. It's bigger than mine. Look at the size of that eggplant down there. Don't worry. I never knew. It is. So she's giving him the power of uh, Shiva. Of course, they had to be nude to do this, right? It's very this important for burden. them to be naked. I'll give you the strength to bear it alone. But I'm not alone. These burdens I carry, my sins, my pain, my sorrow, I see now that they are all a part of me. I know. Spider-12 says they're so desperate to try to show them naked, but they know they can't actually show them naked in the game, so look how lame all this is. It's just fucking stupid. It's, it's tr being risque for the sake of being risque, so people will talk about how there's these nearly nude scenes in Final Fantasy that serve literally no purpose whatsoever. They could be fully clothed in this scene, it would be exactly the same fucking scene and have the same meaning. They're doing it on purpose because they're they're lame, basically. They're lame -os. This This reminds me of, like, the 1990s when every game was trying to be over-the-top gory and over-the-top uh, sexualized because they thought, oh, that was in the thing back then, you know? Every game was trying to be, like... Every, every fighting game was trying to be, like, Mortal Kombat. Every fighting game was trying to be, like, Mortal Kombat and have fatalities because that was what was in. It's the same thing here. Oh, my God, we totally have to do all this stuff, man, because everyone's going to be talked... No one talked about it. No, Like, literally, no one cares about this shit in the game. Everyone just cringes. It is fucking stupid as fuck. They're so lame in this game. They fucking missed the mark so bad. Clive. I promise you, Jill. We will find a way. I promise you, Jill. There will be nothing interesting in this game. We're trying really hard to make sure this game has nothing of any importance. Find a way. Please forget this game after it's over. Save each other. Oh my god. So stupid. <laughs> then we might one day look upon the moon again. Together. And then he picks her up and, and he I tosses her into the ocean and they have a splash fight. It's amazing. That I will be there. Oh my no matter god. What, you must the stupidest come. scene. I don't know what this is supposed to be. I know. Is it meaningful? Is it supposed to be like drama between two characters? Is it supposed to be, you know, because they're pushing it with the nudity? Is it supposed to be arousing? Well, what is the scene supposed to be? So it's bad drama. on all fronts. So basically, he absorbed the power of Shiva. 
right? That's what we got out of this scene. That's literally it. And then I guess they sleep with each other on the beach. They probably get crabs up their ass, too. <laughs> They're rolling around on the beach. A fucking horseshoe crab will whoop right up the butthole. Like, oh, shit. Fucking jellyfish on the balls. Man, that's what the <laughs> If only you've gone to the forest. But, you know, you're not that smart. <laughs> that's what they get. That's what you get. Fucking idiots. Like, everything in this game that they think is good is, like, lame. I'm serious. Like, at first, the icon fights seem cool. But as you get further into the game, they become less special, less interesting. You know? The combat at first seems cool. Just bad by the time you're halfway through the game. Everything just gets worse the further you play the game. At this point, it's just like... <laughs> I have, like, no hopes that anything of interest will happen by the end of this game. I mean, I really have no hopes. I, I mean, if there is, I'll be happy. But I'm really just not expecting anything. At this point. What of Barnabas? Do we pursue him? No. Our paths will cross again soon enough. Whether we like it or not. Besides... There is something we must do first. Oh, good. Hopefully it's some fetch quests. That'd be great. Of course. Drake's spine. The last mother crystal. The Einherja is at the bottom of the sea. Walud won't dare move on storm without her. But they know we're coming now. We'll need a plan. And a damn good one oh. Then let's go home and find one. Ash will have to wait. Yikes. The promise. <laughs> On the fucking beach. Alright. Back to the hideaway. Mid says Odin split the sea in two. She's always been partial to a tall tale. But there's tall, and then there's tall. I struggle to believe it myself. I see your uncle isn't with you. He stayed with the Enterprise. After our brush with the Einherja, she was in urgent need of repair. And my uncle knows a shipwright in Randalar. We're to join him there when we're ready to sail for Ash. You sure that's wise? Last I heard, the place was still overrun with a Kashyyyk. Oh, good. More generic to when that isn't true. Ultima's plague is spreading. We're running out of time, aren't we? We've done our best to shore up that hideaway. I doubt a few planks will stop what's coming. Still, we'll keep at it. Every little helps, I suppose. Let's hope so. <sighs> okay. Across the narrow. The power of ice, and now we have Shiva. Shall we mess around? Cold snap can be used to swiftly move left, right, forward, back to either dodge attacks or close in on an enemy. Uh, doesn't seem very good. I already have other abilities like that, right? I should visit Joshua. Assuming Tony will allow Oh, it. good. Look what we've got available. Oh. <laughs> oh. Boy. Oh, boy. Shiva is better than wind. You think I should get rid of wind and start using Shiva instead? Diamond dust. A winter storm that will freeze enemies. Alright. Let's get that. Ice age. 
River of Icicles that greatly knock back any enemies it strikes. Hold the button to increase the potency. Or Mesmerize. Launch multiple shards of ice that upon striking lighter enemies draw them toward Clive. Ah. Or Rhyme. Summon a colossal ice crystal that deals continuous damage to all enemies that become trapped in it. Let's do that. How do you upgrade it? What happens if you upgrade it? Increase the duration. Alright, we'll use Rhyme and we'll use Diamond Dust. Okay? Okay. We'll use these three. Alright. And uh, before we do that... Well, actually, don't we have something I wanted to upgrade at Blackthorn anyway? Oh, God, there's another one. What are these quests? This one is Blacksmith Blues 4. And this one is Even Weirder Science. So, last time we did Weird Science, it increased the amount of potions. So, we should probably do that one because we get even more potions, right? Alright, I guess we gotta do all of these. Heard the bad news then, did you? What bad news? About Dravosht. Blackthorn's old horn. With the forge and all that. Well, anyway, the mines just down the road from there are spewing out ether like no one's business. Oh, good. And the village? Safe from the flood for now, but they've got other problems. <clears throat> Akashic. Every creature in the area is either turned or on the way to turning, apparently. Zoltan and the others are living on borrowed time. They need help and quick. Doris sent a few curse breakers to keep an eye on things, but there's only so much a couple of scouts can do. Except get eaten. If something ain't done soon, the old place will be overrun. Sounds like that's what we're doing for the final oh, blacksmith happen. quest. Didn't think <clears throat> you would. Does Blackthorn know? I thought it might be better if he didn't. He'd only do something stupid. You reckon okay. we should tell him? No. It's better this way. Yeah, well... I can't stand about knowing what's happening out there, so I'm off. I'll see you in Dravosht. Dravosht. Okay. I'm being told I can refund all the stuff that I'm not using right now and put it into my other abilities. Oh, yeah. So let's say, for example, I went over here. I was like, well, I'm not using this right now. How would I... How would I do that? Is this all? This is upgrade. Reset. Okay. Same thing with the lightning. And same thing with Titan. I didn't really get that many points back. Right? I didn't get much at all, actually. <laughs> oh well. <clears throat> Almost nothing. So I have 3,000 now. Attacking while sliding freezes enemies. Now let's maximize diamond. Let's upgrade diamond dust. There you go. Darn, I'm like 80 points short. Oh, come on. 80 points short. What if I refund flare bread? There you go. Right, so now I'll upgrade uh, Rhyme, Rhyme to level 2. No, I already did that. What was the one I wanted to upgrade? Now I've lost track of it. It wasn't these. I'm not using them. I'm using these two. Oh, never mind. Impulse I'm still using. I, I refunded Flare Breath. I'm still using all these. Oh, wait. Oh, no, I can't refund these. Color Cyclone or Rising Flames? Nah, they don't let you refund those. I guess maybe I didn't even upgrade them. I don't know. Okay. All right, at some point, I'll keep saving to do more ultimates and stuff. So we got that. Let's also unlock the other side quest that seems like it's going to be important, right? Down there. Which one's that one's called? Uh, even, even Weirder Science? Even Weirder Science! Ooh. What's for dinner tonight? I think... Kat is making those... Remember last week I told you she made some chicken burritos? 
and they were good except that she put these chipotle peppers that were so hot that the burrito burned your mouth so she's making the exact same burritos without the chipotle peppers How was so she? hopefully it's good and it won't burn our mouths out today we'll see ah sid just the man i was hoping to see did you have a mo then tell me a mo do i have a mo oh no we still got plenty of that left I'm working on bringing another one of the Chief's designs to life. This time, it's a new smell. Joel, off. We're not doing all the side quests. We're only doing the ones with pluses on them. So this one will probably help me my healing, and the other one will be the blacksmith. The last one. We're gonna do those two, and that's probably it. Reciprocal recirculatory regenerators that that um. Let's just say it gets very blimmin' hot. A heck of a lot hotter than anything Blackthorn's got in his forge. That's for certain. Only Mithril engines get hotter. You can't chuck ore in one me and three. Bear, like the other end. <laughs> Trouble is, we won't be able to make out of any old rubbish neither. We need the good stuff. Okay, I'm, rather than listen to him, let's just get it for it's him. Awesome. Whatever the fuck he's talking about, it's instead of wasting time on his bullshit that dialogue that, that, that nobody cares about. So about Delvecchia. All right, we'll do this one first, then we'll do even weirder science. We'll do both. All right. Uh, I got a dollar twenty tip. From Cold Timmy. He says, when is the next Street Fighter stream? Tonight, 6.45 p.m. Pacific time. Friday night fights. I continue my efforts to level up my Blanca and get him to master rank. And I have new buttons on the way. They should be arriving this afternoon. And I'm going to install those in my stick. And we're going to try these new buttons and see if I can do better. Because last time when I played, I was dropping a lot of moves and combos. I swear I was pressing the buttons, but I wasn't getting a response. So we'll, we'll see if that improves at all. All right. So what are we doing here? We're going to the map. So this one is... What? Is that it? I can't tell if that's the one I'm going to or not. Oh, God. There's plus symbols everywhere. Oh, fuck me. How do I know where, which one's what? Okay, this is the blacksmith because there's three for weirder science. Let's do the blacksmith. Here we go. Am I going to install the buttons on stream if you guys really want me to? But it's not a big deal. It's very simple to do. Here we go. The fields of Korava. So is still standing. For now, at least. August. Clive. You're here. Yes, I'm here. And for God's traffic. sakes. Mostly off to the north still. I spoke to Doris, scouts. It's okay, let's just skip what he's doing and just do what he wants us to do. I don't care about the dialogue at this point. None of this matters. It's all bullshit. It adds nothing. Yeah, Blackthorn's still pissy about this. And the guy's still pissy. They're gonna just send me off to fight some enemies or get an item. It's just gonna be another fucking fetch quest. So, there's no point in just fucking skip it all. And just tell me what you want me to do. Okay? Speak with August when you're ready. I'm ready. I don't care what I'm ready. I don't even know what we're ready for. Let's do it. Let's do it. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Very meaningful. Let's keep going. Ooh. It's an Akashic bull creature thingy. And two other, or three other Akashic right. creature thingies. I'm sure they'll be very unique and different, and not like anything else I've done before. Ultimate Blizzard Attack! Ah! Giga Flare! Nah! <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, you hit me. Fuck face. Did I see you hit me? Now enjoy this instead. Another ultimate attack. Oh, yes. This is such a great fight. Very exciting. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, spread it on, baby. Come on. Yeah. You want some, you fucking scorpion bitch? Come on. Slap the shit out of your fucking stupid ass tail. Embarrassing. Look how big and bold this is. Look at all these scorpions. Take it. How do you like this? How about some diamond dust, motherfuckers? Chill the fuck out. Oh, there's still more, huh? You want some more? I'll give you more. Giga Flare! And he's dead. Let's turn now. Alright, well, let me turn. That sucks you get stuck in the let you turn around. Oh, look. Now we have. Ooh. Leg biters or something. What the fuck is Yeah, leg, leg eaters. Leg biters. Nipple, nipple twisters. Now, more coming. Oh, no. Anything with the Akashic Griffin. Oh, I'm the dread Akashic Griffin. I'm sure. This thing will completely dominate us and destroy us. There's absolutely no way we can deal any damage to the Akashi Griffin in any kind of reasonable manner. It's just overpowered as shit. I mean, come on. Obviously, this was the culmination of everything in the game right now. This Akashi Griffin. Ready? Ready for this? Yes! Just keep hitting the fucking thing. Just keep fucking hitting the fucking thing. It can't move. It can't defend itself. It's like a baby being slapped around by a pro wrestler. It's, <laughs> it's like a small rabbit being punted by an Olympic fucking uh, bodybuilder. Look at this. <laughs> it can't even get up. It can't even get the fuck up. It, <laughs> it can't stand that. Look, look at this. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Akashic Griffin. This is with me not doing side quests or anything. This is how, how I'm beating. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Come on down, dead boy. Look. Oh, my God. This game is something else. Is that it? Apparently not. Oh, my God. We have a unique enemy. A manticore. Or is it a chimera? Because they've called the different things in different games. Maybe this is a chimera. It's a chimera. Okay. A unique enemy. I can't believe it. There, there are unique enemies in the game, apparently. I wasn't aware of that until right now. But can you blame me? I've been playing the game for so long. It's the same enemy. Die, right? We didn't fight a chimera yet. Right? It's probably a unique boss. As I said this, watch it be the next boss in the story. How much you want to bet? How much you want to fucking bet it will be, right? Time to chill out and stay cool! Freeze well, Chimera boy! How about a delicious Giga Flare to your face? Oh, what a dangerous foe! What a deadly dangerous foe! You gotta take this fight real serious, let me tell you guys. Be very careful when you fight the Chimera. At a moment's notice, it could get knocked down and take massive damage after being staggered. So be very, very apprehensive when you fight this thing. Look at that. If you cast Lightning, you can easily dodge by matching R1. You gotta be careful about that, okay? At any time, you might do your ultimate attack that just takes away, like, giant chunks of its staggering health and you just can't do anything about it. It just stands there and takes it like a bitch. You know, so be very careful. Very apprehensive. <laughs> oh my god. This is, seriously, this is Kingdom Hearts 4. This game is fucking Kingdom Hearts 4, dude. 3 was easy. This is easier than Kingdom Hearts 3 at this point. Look at this. Oh yeah. Oh, oh man. The challenge. The amazing challenge. The amazing challenge. Oh yes. Oh, let's do this now. Just for variety's sake. I had a, a small break in the combat, so let me engage my ultimate ability for even more combat. Here we go. Oh, it's a chimera. And then he's getting 
getting up. So now do your ice ultimate. And that'll freeze him and take a giant chunk off of his stagger yet again. And already you're down to half stagger. <laughs> you could have made this up. Oh, it's the easiest fucking game ever made. Look at this. Look, just dodge. Dodge around a little bit. Okay, now I stab some more. Stab, stab, stab. Dodge again. Okay, here we go. Wow. This is just fucking... Like, play school Final Fantasy. Play school video game. Not even Final Fantasy. Play school video game. I think a small child probably thinks this game's boring at this point. Like, what the fuck? A small child! Yes! Here we go! Take a flare! Oh, yes! Shred it the fuck on! Take a giant chunk of damage off of this boss! It's almost dead! It's about to die! <laughs> Oh my god, what an amazing fight. Like, literally, the bosses are just health saves. They're sponges. What, what, what risk was there in that fight, exactly? To me and my person, at all. All I had to do was every once in a while press R1 to spin around the boss. Like, there's nothing to it at all. It's a waste of fucking time, man. Wow, that Chimera. So, so glad I did that unique fight. Wow. No, the question is... Did I miss any... Don Fanucci, you know, generally when you're playing a game and you're supposed to have an epic boss Man, fight, you actually have to pay attention instead of mashing. And usually I wouldn't be able to talk to the chat or anything, but this this game is I something else. As as it's its own thing, man. As many as I could, he says. The old bleeding lot more like it. Well, almost. Only almost. Yeah, one or two did try to sneak over the wall. But we got the bastards. Don't All right, do we really worry. care about this? Good. Let's just fucking advance. Forget your dialogue. Oh, let's finish this quest. <laughs> 400 lines of dialogue. As for you, about the This would have been 10 minutes. If I didn't mash the button, this would have literally been 10 minutes of dialogue. I say that. All right, you give me another item. No, I got the cracked anvil from Zoltan, the seal obtained. And this is a token of a lasting gratitude. But I'm of a mind to make you a far grander gift. Designs for a certain sword have been passed down from chief to so chief. So this is going to let us be a sword. Now hold on, Zoltan. There's a reason no one's made that blade in centuries. Okay, so yeah, it's gonna be a sword. So let's get to that and see if we can actually make the fucking sword, right? Return to the highway and speak with Blackthorn. All right, let's do that. And let's see if we can make this sword. Pro how much you want to bet? They're gonna be like, oh, you can make the sword if you do like three more hunts, right? Just to waste even more time. There's no way that they would actually allow me to get a reward for doing four fucking boring ass story segments, right? It's gonna be do more fights. I guarantee it, dude. Oh, don't tell me we've run out of Still alive, are ya? Jade says, I'll see you in Street Fighter. I'm so bored. He's Jade is leaving. Some, Jade can't even stick you. around because the game is so fucking boring. I hear you. <laughs> you gotta be like surrounded by coffee. Okay. So let's get this done with and let's see what the sword is and if it's worth the hunts or not or if this was a complete waste of my time. Because I get the feeling it was a complete waste of my time. I do. And, uh, and right to the... Can I remember my first ever Final Fantasy well, game and how, how does it compare to this? My first ever official Final yeah, Fantasy that I played was Final Fantasy IV. So. And it blew me away because never before I had ever played a video game that had an epic story like that. Where there were adult themes and serious things. People were dying. Oh, people were seriously that. hurt. There was actual real romance between Rosa and Cecil. Or Cecil or however the hell you say his name. You know, it was the first kind of game for like a mature audience that I ever played. And I loved it. It blew me away. All right. The God Oh, I got a Ragnarok sword. Okay. So right off the bat, I did get a good sword. And then I got a Gottermagurdurn design craft. So I did get a sword that I can use right away, and it looks good. So even if I don't do the rest of this, th this bullshit, it looks like at least I can equip this right now. Let's see. 
Let's see. Yeah, I mean, it's significantly better. It's an increase of 50 to both stats. Ragnarok. And now if I talk to him, he'll probably have the ability to upgrade it if I have things if I get things I don't have. Wait, what's this? Oh, that was specific dialogue just because I did blacksmith bullshit. Ice brand. You can make an ice a sword. That's kind of cool, right? Here's the Gottenberg Jibberdurg. So I look oh my god. You need two more of the or 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 chalcum from hunts. You need Dark, two dark steels from unique hunts. You need a primitive battle horn from a unique hunt, and even then, it only ups the stats by fifty. Right? <laughs> What's the point? Why do I need the sword when everything in the game is a steamroll? Right? Like, why on earth would I need it? I, the truth is, I don't. I don't need it at all. Right? I guess I'll make the ice brand. No scratches. Well, no, I don't want to equip it. Well, I equipped it now, like an idiot. I made the ice brand. Anything here that'll be any... No, this is all the stuff I already have. See that? What about reinforcing? If I reinforce anything, it's not as good as the Ragnarok. I get the feeling the Ragnarok's just going to be the best sword for me for the rest of the game, right? Like, there'll never be something better. Rune Belt plus two. I need Meteorites and a Quarrel Risker. And but even then, it's only plus three. So that doesn't matter. Yep. All right, I guess we're done here. I just got to re-equip the other else? thing. Savage Today, thank you. He says he's going to give some memberships now to build for tonight's late stream. Thank you. If you do, thank you so much. Um, all right, yeah, let's equip Ragnarok. So this is going to probably be my best sword of the game. I'm not going to bother with those hunts to do the other one. But I do want to do the other quest because it looks like I'll be able to... See, this is look for spherical echoes. I bet if I do these, this will increase my healing and, and healing item capacity, right? I bet it will. Wow! I didn't know you were going to give 20. Holy shit! Savage Two Day gifted 20 memberships to the channel. Congrats to John, to Dylan, to Timmy, Gaz. That's four so far. Another 16 to be uh, accepted here. That's a ton. Thank you so much, man. Unbiased fan, Frank. Actually, I got to split the part. Marxist Carl, <clears throat> La Lin, Linnell Link, Linnellink. Deer Fly, Why Be Better, Graves Fiend, Misho Tito, Fear America, Gaming Guru, Cosmos Wolf, Nate Drake, Deathly Warrior, Lillian Faust, John Kanesh Shige, Life at the Outpost. Is that 20? I think that's the 20. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much, Savage Today. That is amazing. Thank you for the support. As you know, this has been a very slow support stream. I'm not so shocked that it was. Okay. So thank you so much, Savage. <clears throat> All right, let's split the part here. 